How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create AI art using Canva's text to image feature. This is super useful if you need to create images for online content. I'll also show you some other useful tools you can use in conjunction with Canva to make your results even better. Stay tuned to the end to see those and let's get straight into it. Firstly, open up a blank design in Canva and on the left hand side, scroll down to where it has apps click on apps and then here you'll see the text to image button you can click on that and it would open up the feature it's very straightforward you just type in your prompt here this is where you describe the image you want the ai to create humans with the best prompts will be able to control and use ai like a superpower that's a slight exaggeration but you get the idea here they've given some inspiration so photo of a magical forest city from the future i'll just click on that and then at the bottom you can choose your style so you have photo drawing 3d painting pattern concept art i'm just going to keep it on random and click generate image now what it's going to do is create four images for you normally this takes a few seconds for it to generate here you go four images are now created what you can do is click on the image and it would add it onto your design here. So I can make that bigger to take a look at that. This one looks highly detailed. Looks like a forest city from the future with a waterfall. If you're struggling to get the right image or the results aren't what you expect, a useful tool you can use is called Prompt Extend. It can be found on the huggingface.co website. Here's the URL. I'll put a link to this in the description. Essentially, you just enter the main idea for a prompt and the model will add suitable style cues to it. So if I just copy and paste this prompt and add it in here, a photo of a magical forest city from the future, click submit. It will take a few seconds and then it will extend this prompt with more details. So now it says photo of a magical forest city from the future by this person, 4K detailed, depth of field, cinematic, wide perspective. As you can see, it's given a more detailed description. You can use this in full or you can just take some ideas from here and customize this yourself. I'm just going to copy and paste this entire thing, then put this in Canva, then click generate image. We detected words that may result in unsafe or offensive images. Refa rephrase or remove them to carry on. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not seeing that before. So let me just remove some words from this list. Um, this person, I believe, is a famous anime director. That could possibly be triggering the warning. Let me go down as well. The rest of them look normal. Okay, extreme detail. That I don't know if that could be seen as offensive, but let me just remove that and then try again. Okay, it looks like it's working this time. I'm learning this new tool with you guys, so hopefully we can learn together and get the most out of this tool. And let's see what results we can get out of it. That looks like it should have some depth for field. Just a reminder of the images it generated. Okay still working on the fourth one sometimes it only gives you three images sometimes it gives you four images so this is flashing it might not be a, it might not even give you a fourth image here i'll just add a new page and show you one of the images here i'll increase the size so you can see it oh looks like a fourth image has just popped up so i'll show you that one as well as you can see these images do look pretty amazing an alternative tool you can use to create ai art prompts is chat gpt you may have heard of it it is a new ai system where you can ask it questions or talk to it and it will give you responses so in this case i would like it to give me art prompts so i can create art in canva so i'd go to the website here chat.openai.com forward slash chat and then down the bottom i'll write my question create an ai art prompt for a cat roaming around a magical city so i'll click enter and see what that comes up with here is an ai art prompt for a cat roaming around a magical city 
Imagine a bustling enchanted city filled with towering spires, sparkling magic and mysterious creatures. This is an extremely highly detailed art prompt as you can see. Whatever the catch journey may bring it is sure to be filled with magic and wonder as they roam around this enchanted city. Okay this sounds like a movie but let's copy and paste this into Canva and see what it comes up with. Now I don't know what the word limit is so let's try it as the cat. Okay it looks like it has reached its word limit here. All sorts of adventures. Okay I'll just delete this last sentence and I'll click photo to make it photo realistic. Click generate image. Okay interesting results. You can see a cat here. I don't know if there are cats in the other images. There's a person. Okay. So what you could do, if the results aren't exactly what you expected, you can reply to chat GPT. So I'll say, make the cat more prominent in the description and then click enter. Certainly here is a revised version of the AI art prompt that puts the cat more prominently at the center of the story. Okay. It is crazy to think that I'm talking to AI right now and it is replying to me. Okay I won't waste my time by reading this out to you um, but as you can see you can make customizations to it. I'm not sure what has changed in this situation but let me just delete that paste that delete the second i sleep back cat wonders the wine issues okay photo generate the image so as you can see it's just a matter of playing around with this refining what you want out of it and then telling chat gbt what you want it to produce if the result isn't perfect the first time you can keep customizing it now chat gpt is currently free and you get a small number of requests with a free account you do have to sign up for your email address and create an account with open ai but as you can see it can turn out some interesting results for you that you can then put into canva to create these images this one looks particularly good another cool thing you can do is generate prompts from existing images so if you go back onto the huggingface.co website, there is a tool on there called Clip Interrogator. This is the full URL. So you just drop in an image here and it will do the reverse of what we just did. So it will generate a prompt based on the image instead of generating a prompt from the text. So here they've got an example here. I'll just click on the cat. It's uploaded the cat. Then the output is a painting of a cat in a dark room, a photorealistic painting by this person. Let's try and copy this back into Canva to see what it comes with. So to start again, you click that button, just highlight all of that, delete that, generate image. Okay, this one has worked. There's no offensive words in this. After a few seconds, the images will be generated. As you can see, here they are. I'll just place them onto the page so you can see them clearly. As you can see, the images are quite small, but there is something we can do. Another tool you can use to increase and upscale the images is called upscale.media. Simple website. You just upload your image here and it would increase the resolution up to 1500 by 1500 pixels. So as you can see here, that was the original image. And now it's increased it so it's super useful here also if it's not in detail you can see it's made it more detailed this is another useful tool you can add to your collection just to improve the images that come out of canva so there you go i hope you found this video useful i'll put links to all these tools in the description so you can find them easily and uh, if you found this video useful feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one